HDL Coder generates Verilog and VHDL RTL code from algorithms modeled in MATLAB and Simulink for implementation in FPGAs and ASICs. Recently, HDL Coder has been enhanced to generate synthesizable System C code for MATLAB so that it can be used in combination with high-level synthesis tools. In this video, we will run through an example of using HDL Coder to prepare a MATLAB function for System C code generation so that it can be synthesized to hardware using the Stratus HLS tool from Cadence. Here's our MATLAB session. We start with the design to be synthesized. It's represented here as a MATLAB function, but it's an LMS filter, or least mean squares filter. It's a type of adaptive filter, and we're using it here to remove noise from an audio signal. The top level MATLAB function calculates the optimal filter coefficients to reduce the difference between the output signal and the desired signal. The top level function calls three other functions, so this is a hierarchical MATLAB function. The test bench is a MATLAB script that does some setup, creates a sinusoidal signal, and adds noise to it. The calls to the MATLAB function to be synthesized are in this while loop, and once all the inputs have been processed, the test bench plots the results. We run the test bench to simulate, and you can see that after just two cycles, the filter is starting to remove noise. Before proceeding, we need to make sure that Stratus is on the toolpath, so we run the HDL setup toolpath command. We create an HDL coder project, which includes the function to be synthesized and its test bench. Once we do that, we can start the HDL workflow advisor for MATLAB, which gives us a step-by-step -step process. To start, we set the code generation workflow. It defaults to the MATLAB to HDL workflow but we change it to MATLAB to System C so we can take advantage of Stratus and its integration with downstream power analysis and logic synthesis. In the next step, we will define the data types of the four inputs to the MATLAB function. HDL Coder evaluates the function and its test bench to infer data types on the four inputs to the function as shown here. The next step deals with floating point to fixed point conversion. This will convert the floating point MATLAB code to fixed point MATLAB. HDL Coder performs a range analysis based on simulation of the test bench and proposes appropriate fixed point types for each variable in the MATLAB algorithm. You can edit these data types and override the proposed values if you'd like to, say, add in more margin. You can respond that you're satisfied with the data types by clicking on Validate Types. Then HDL Coder generates the fixed point MATLAB code. This can take some time, so we'll skip ahead. In the next step, you can specify Cadence Stratus HLS as the synthesis tool. Then we move on to the next step, System C code generation. You have some options here involving coding style, optimizations, and thresholds on RAM mapping that you can choose from. Once those are set, you run this step. HDL Coder will report back on progress and notify you when code generation is completed. Now we can look at the generated system C code. The persistent variables in MATLAB that are used to maintain state are generated as public class members. If the size of persistent variables exceeds the RAM threshold that we set in the optimizations tab, then they map to RAM. We can scroll down and see the system C code representing the LMS filter algorithm. As we saw earlier, there are four inputs and three outputs. The outputs are passed by reference. Now we can return to the workflow advisor to verify the system C. In this case, we are generating the input output data from the MATLAB design. We will then create a Stratus project with a generated system C. We run a simulation of the system C code to verify that it provides the same results as the MATLAB code. We see the transcript here as we generate the data files and run an importer tool for Stratus. We can skip ahead as this can take some time to run. The successful result here means that the system C code is numerically correct to the MATLAB source. At this point, you can launch Stratus by clicking on the link to the Stratus project. This will bring up the Stratus IDE. We can return to Workflow Advisor to kick off synthesis with Stratus, or you can do this within the Stratus IDE. In any case, Stratus will produce reports and generate RTL from here on, you can proceed with the options Stratus has for further design exploration. For more information on this workflow and other features, go to mathworks.com hdl, where you can learn more about HDL Coder and its use in ASIC workflows.